of this RT2L Mini Division 5 game. We are having the team who won the first game, the team by Alaris, going for the name of Best Grandma now, was previously named I Should Have Bought A on Disc, against the team The In Jokers, the team by David. We have again six bands that go far too fast. We have Lich, Undying, Witch Dog, the exact same bands as the previous game. Treant and Puck, same bands, but now they ban out the Viper Hero. Viper, they don't want to deal with this hero anymore. Get it out of here. And the uh, rating goes again for Vengeful Spirit. They felt it was good in the first game. It has to be good in the second game as well. Uh, how is the in Joker is gonna, going to respond to this? Uh, Ten seconds remaining. The previous game, Best Grandma, aka Alaris' team, did take the victory. It came pretty much down to that one team fight where the Guardian Griefs from the Ogre and uh, not enough focusing on the Drow Ranger uh, enabled uh, Alaris' team to take the victory. Um, so we'll see how the Injokers is going to address this issue now in draft as well as uh, execution in game. And again, it is a best of three. So if the Injokers takes this game, we will go to a next game, which I'm very excited about if that happens. Is there any idle chatting? No. Uh, in Joker's dipping very much into the reserve time here. Uh, last time they... They are gonna go with the Shadow Shaman. Uh, a lot of lockdown and tower push and the Ursa. I like this pairing. Um, you hold someone down with shackles and uh, he just overpowers you. Quite literally. Um, Ursa also a very strong hero. Demolishes... Most, if not all, off laners at the moment, unless it's like something Ten weird like Razor remaining. off laners, so that might be a bit different. Five seconds um, remaining. But it's a, it's a very, very strong safe lane core right now. So uh, I like to see them pick that up. In the previous game, Radiant they get, did go with the Naga Siren, Mirana. who did come back in the game after having the first five minutes being shut down heavily. Um, there we have a Mirana pick. Uh, so it's a Mirana Vengeful Spirit support duo most likely. And they ban out the Wind Ranger. Mm. Are they gonna ban out the Drow again? Again, Vengeful Spirit and Drow is a pesky, pesky lane to deal with. Uh, very, 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 very difficult to deal with. Uh, not only during the laning phase, but also later on, the additional attack range from Vengeful Spirit Radiant is very, very back. much appreciated by the Drow Ranger. They ban out the Venomancer. They played it the first game, were not happy with it, apparently. So they ban it out. And uh, we'll see what's going to be the next ban for Radiant. They might ban out something... Like Centaur, LC, or Sand King. Dire team back. They ban out the Conquer. Which makes me... Th they can't pick Viper. What do they want to pick that pick. Conquer is really, really good against? They ban the Razor on the, on the Dire side. And... They... They didn't ban the OD, which was a ban in the previous, uh, in the previous game. Are they? Th do they want to go OD? SOD? I think OD is pretty good against. Uh, Conquer is pretty good against OD. Ten seconds remaining. Um, and Wind Ranger as well. So that might be something they are looking Five into. Seconds remaining. Now for the dire side, they're most likely gonna pick up their support here. Um, something like Lena. Something. Treant has been banned out, Puck has been banned out. A lot of supports being banned out. Um, Tusk? Tusk might be quite good here. It Radiant also offers team some team save. Team. They go for Crystal Maiden. Um, interesting, so Shadow Shaman 4, Crystal Maiden 5 most likely. And... Uh, there is a lot of stun on the side of Radiant already to stop the ultimate. Like both heroes having a Ten stun that when uh, Crystal Maiden is stationary, it's going to be rather easy to cancel that ultimate Five seconds remaining. Uh, with arrow or uh, magic missile. 
dire team and there is gonna be the sand king is gonna be picked up by radiant radiant is gonna put a lot of pressure on this dire heroes to buy sentries there is moonlight shadows there is and there is uh, the sand king sandstorm so there's gonna be a lot of uh, uh, resources being uh, taken away from the dire supports to buy dust and to buy sentries which is already an economical win by having the two heroes, Sand King as well as Mirana. Very similar to when you pick Treant or Bounty Hunter or Ricky or Klinks. But nobody picks Klink, uh, Ricky, so <laughs> don't have to worry about that. And we are one minute left of reserve time for the Dyer. Again, Dyer needs to win this game. To take it to a game three in order to attempt to win the series. Uh, Radiant needs to win this game. Uh, well, needs to win this or the next game to take the series home. Uh, I would like to see some Centaur. <coughs> apologies. Uh, <coughs> oh, apologies. 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 Um, some Centaur esque hero. Uh, some tanky offlaner. Tide Hunter. Axe. Magnus. Magnus. Interesting. Is this Magnus mid? Could be Magnus mid. Could be Magnus offlane. Um, a bit of flexibility there. And uh, they still have last pick. So. And they can decide how to put that. Now Radiant. Seconds, uh, they need something to against the Ursa. They have stuns, Five they have good amounts of stuns. Uh, Mir Vengeful, Mirana and Sand King all have stuns. And they go Outworld out Devourer. Ver hmm. Very, very good hero here. I feel like Radiant Ursa is not going to have a lot of mana. Max is not going to have a lot of mana. And you don't really care about Crystal Mane or Shadow Shaman. The Shackles can be a bit difficult to deal with. But you have ways to deal with it if another person gets shackled. And if you get shackled, there's Sand King's Stun, Mirana Arrow, and Vengeful Spirit Swap, as well as Magic Missile. They ban out the, bl the Bloodseeker. Ten seconds remaining. So, they ban out Bloodseeker. Five Do they want to go Lycan mid? Weaver? Mm, I feel like both of these would... Weaver not as much, uh, but uh, Lycan would definitely struggle against OD and might just get one shot later on uh, with uh, not enough mana. And so like both, like if it's Magnus mid then they need an offlaner, they need something that isn't strength hero because uh, OD just shits on strength heroes that don't have any intelligence gain because uh, it's the difference between mana how much mana the OD has and uh, how much mana your hero or like uh, the other hero, the enemy hero has. Um, what are they going to ban here? Something... Storm Spirit? They have, to, they have ways to deal with Storm Spirit, so I wouldn't think that that would be a good ban. Uh, Medusa? I think Medusa is, is too slow. It's too slow in this game. Radiant they team ban out the Pugna. Oh my! Oh yeah, of course. Team ban team out the Pugna. <laughs> Otherwise, your your OD doesn't have a game. Uh, Pugna still absolutely shits on OD, and uh, and they go with the CK last pick. So CK safe lane, OD mid, Sand King off lane, and Mirana Vengeful is the support duo. Very very. Um, I would say like normal draft on the side of Radiant. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the dire, it is is it gonna be Magnus Smith? Tinker. You may now Ooh, your we picks. have a Tinker. So it's a Tinker mid Magnus. S David played safe lane the previous game. I thought maybe they're swapping up their roles um, to to uh, whoever is more comfortable on any given hero. So, that Sand King looks scary. <laughs> I just looked at the Sand King, I'm like, this Sand King, ooh, these horns. Ugh. Um, I feel like 
I mean, it's a Tinker game. Everything revolves around Tinker. Uh, Ursa, if he's if he's not gonna get stun locked, he can uh, he can definitely rip those heroes apart. He can see he can rip CK apart. He can pick OD apart. And he can pick Sand King apart. Um, it's gonna be a lot on the supports to provide lockdown as well as saves. Uh, for the Ursa and to provide the sentry vision and dust. I feel like that's going to be the most important. Even Tinker might have to think about getting dust in his backpack and just uh, come in with Boots of Travel and just dust really quick and uh, put it back in his backpack again uh, in this in this game. Because as soon as Ursa can't lock down a target, he kind of screwed. He's gonna go Basher, Abyssal, I would assume. So, that is gonna be really good. Like, if anybody gets stunlocked with some overpower Bashers, they might just be dead before they get out of... before they can do anything. There you see the Sand King, and on the other side it's gonna be the Ursa. Last match on as Ursa, 13-2-10. That's a, that's a good rate. That's a good rate. That's a good rate. And we are in the game. We have in our best of three game game two. Prepare Radiant is ahead one to zero, and it is on the Mirana playing at Ayers Hall. Um, playing the Mirana, Alaris playing the Sand King, Drayden on the OD, Goat Satan and the Vengeful Spirit and Tiggles. In the previous game was the Draw Ranger, but now it's going to go with the scary, scary CK. Meanwhile, on the Dire side, it is David on the Magnus. Playing offlane Finesse on the Crystal Maiden. Uh, mid, it is Rain Gold tier Tinker. Tinkering about. And in the safe lane, it is Syncriti on the Shadow Shaman. And wait on the Ursa. And there is already an invasion battle. happening of the dire jungle. Oh, good luck, said Baron. Have fun, have fun. Drayden is here, so he's most likely not going to get a block. Unless he's going to go now. And... But Tinker did just say he is coming down here. He, he wants to get this bound to rune. The battle and two people are going to be here. You can't stun both of them. So it is two for two bounty runes. Both teams well, getting that early that gold for some region. From the night. Is Tinker going to be in time to get some sort of block? He is. And the OD not going to be in time. So this time the E creep equilibrium in favor of the Tinker. We're gonna see if it are there gonna be some good shackles on this on on this Sand King. There is a sentry already on the Shadow Shaman is ready. As well as these right clicks are hurting from the Shadow Shaman. There's magic missile onto the Crystal Maiden. And they have a follow-up stun by the CK, but not quite in range. Magnus, he is hitting hard with his Empower and Vengeful Spirit has to be careful. Did use a Fairy Fire. And we have a pause. Sand King is pausing. Did his mom call again? Abilities not working. Well, you didn't you didn't level any up. Need levels. <laughs> It's true, though. You need levels for your abilities. Um, mid, it is so far. Two and three, so... Nah, the hero getting... Tinker is gonna rush a bottle first. And the OD is gonna go for... The Null Talisman crashed. One sec, McDonald's Wi-Fi. <sighs> yeah! Let's look at these early item belts. Show items. So everybody has tangos. Then, is there anything special? <laughs> Magnus has a ring of protection for some early armor. And apart from that, 
Not much to say there. Not much to say. Let's put this away. And uh, let's jump forward a little bit, shall we? Oh, he reconnected. We should be on our way very shortly. And uh, again, it is a Tinker game. If the Tinker gets ahead and is going to be able to push the lanes out constantly, it's going to be all about can you catch the Tinker? Can you Tinker. catch him or is he just going to... Uh, like, be too much to catch. Be too mobile. I never, th I didn't think that sentence through, to be honest. Bottom is just, uh, this Magnus is dealing very well with the CK so far. And there is a sandstorm now. They have a sentry and they have the shackles. Nice deny on the... Range creep? Are they also gonna get this range creep? Oh no, they don't. And he's just gonna get them, getting them back into the sandstorm time and time again. And now shackles. There's the shackles, and now overpower with the fury. Nice stun there onto the Ursa, and there is n no kill, no kill happening so far. There is a bottle now f coming out for the Tinker. He wants to preserve that haste rune. 10 and 2 and 10 and 1. Uh, the uh, last hits respectively in this mid lane. So not much happening there. And up top, it's like, if you get a good shackle shot, you might just, uh, shackles, not shackle shot. Uh, if you get a good shackle, you might just kill somebody, and if you don't, you don't. Oh, he got banished. And then he gives the good old blind back. <laughs> and there we have a stun on the Ursa, so there's no stun for another 10 seconds. You could use shackles now on this Mirana. That's most likely what Wade is saying. Hey, let's go on this Mirana because there's no stun to interrupt your shackles. But stun is now up again. And he has to be careful here. There's a stun on the... Oh, into the arrow. And that's going to be first blood here. Well played. Meanwhile, bottom, they also tried to go for... No, they didn't try to go first blood. It was a denying, committing suicide on the vengeful spirit. Oh, Dyer's courier getting killed as well. Very unfortunate there. Marana hitting the arrows and killing the couriers. Hey, Nearly to level 3 on the Shadow Shaman. There is stun to secure range creeps. Not to go on any hero there. It's an arcane rune and a haste on this tinker now. And he's gonna get banished. Dyer's middle tower is under Both of these heroes are just like so obnoxious. <laughs> oh, both heroes are like one one makes you blind to hit any any creeps, and the other one just banishes you out of the realm. He's gonna deny the range creep though. Has been oh, and the CK courier also getting killed there. So both both safe laners losing couriers. And a stun is gonna get stacked on the Magnus now, so... And meanwhile, I miss a kill up top. Shackles, not gonna be enough to save the Ursa. And Ursa did go down. We come close now to the five minute runes. And the Crystal Maiden has to be careful here. And the Courier is gonna go down as well. Crystal Maiden loses her Courier. There's a Crystal Nova trying to get them away from the rune, but Vengeful Spirit is picking it up. And Crystal Maiden, is she gonna get away from here? There is a Reality Rift. And she gets, and uh, he gets the last hit there. Is there gonna be another Shockwave in one second? But not gonna be enough damage. So three kills now and 2k lead for the Radiant. Having a good game so far. And in terms of Bounty Runes, it was a uh, three for one it looks like. 
Meanwhile, mid. Tinker has a bound rune still in his bottle. <laughs> and there is a shackles on the Mirana, but TP in from the OD, and he has his ultimate. He can't wait to pound on some people that don't have as much mana as he has. He's mana shaming. Meanwhile, Crystal Main did go down to the last right click of the Mirana. And a banish on the Ursa. And Ursa is getting low here. Borrow Strike on the Shadow Shaman. And he's just stealing more and more mana. Is he gonna use his ultimate there? Uh, yeah, he, he, he does mana shaming. Um, he says, you don't have as much mana as I do here. Shame. Shame. Meanwhile, it is Tinker mid. Um, he's having a really good game. He's getting last hits and uh, he's closing in on his Boots of Travel. He's gonna rush Boots of Travel actually. Uh, not gonna go for Soul Ring uh, first, which Dyer's you usually see. Shadow Shaman has to be careful here. Arrow is going to miss, but there's a Borrow Strike available. Oh, uh, and the Shackles is gonna go on the Mirana. They're gonna be a frost, uh, Frostbite, and Mirana is getting really low here. Shockwave, very well played by David. They lose the Mirana, but they trade it for the Shadow Shaman. And uh, the Courier from Vengeful Spirit did go down, and Magnus has to be careful here. He was standing in the Sandstorm a bit too long. There's the Sentry now, but he is just gonna go into the trees. And they don't see him here. And Ursa does find him now. And there is another sandstorm. And Ursa has to be careful here. He has a, he has a self. So he's just going to use that. There's an epicenter for Sand King. Is he going to go for this? No. Just going to try to get out of here. We see again. Same as in the previous game. It is uh, Radiant being further ahead in terms of uh, last hits. But this time Radiant is also ahead in terms of kills. But the Tinker, he made stacks for himself and he is farming the maxed out March. Oh, he did go in with the Epicenter getting the kill on the Ursa. Well played there by Alaris. And they already took the tier 1 top. That's what you want to do against this, uh, this Tinker. Don't let him have this map control with... Um, with too many uh, towers. Of course, it can always uh, TP to creep waves, but it's not as safe as towers. And this Sand King is level 7, meanwhile the Ursa only level 5. Mirana has to be careful though. It's still an Ursa. Ursa hurts. He makes ow ow. As I would say. There are more and more stacks here. And Tinker is starting to farm those. Getting very close to the Boots of Travel. Maxed out March is a lot of damage against these jungle creeps. Stun onto the Crystal Maiden. And the Tinker is here as well. They're activating the shrine, not in time to save the Crystal Maiden. They do have a sentry here for the Sand King. The Tinker does do a lot of damage here, but there are no marches yet. And he is getting Boros Strike in the Sandstorm, and he's gonna go down as well. Another ultimate being used by Draden, securing the kill on the Ursa, and then just some right clicks on the Tinker. 13 to 4, 5k lead. And meanwhile, CK is like, something happening this game. Very, very well played there Dyer's by Radiant, fighting Some around the shrine and still winning. Dyer's structures are fortified. We are closing in on the 10 minute mark. Tomes are going to make a difference. You get wards from Shadow Shaman. You get the ultimate from Crystal Main that if you can't stop it is a lot of damage. Especially in these early engagements. Even in later engagements they can absolutely turn fights around. You see Radiant really wants to push the tempo of this game. They don't want to give this Tinker anything but he has Boots of Travel now. Is now going to go for the Soul Ring. And uh, they are taking... Now this outpost down bottom here. Tinker has been spotted. But he also saw the Moonlight Shadow. There is a banish from the OD. They are in mid of the march. But the epicenter being used. And Tinker does go down again. Meanwhile his team is trying to push down bottom. But CK is here to relieve the pressure. Has... Phantasm available now. 
You have to put a sentry ward down. The price is mine. And they don't find any of the observer wards here. Not this one and not this one. Dyer's Very... Tower is under attack. Does this one see anything? I don't know. I don't... Th this is just to block the camp here, but... Very odd at this point of the game. There is a keen optic and the stack being stolen by Sand King. They get a kill on the Crystal Maiden. Dire kind of falling apart at this game. They have a Tinker. So they can hold high ground. Very, very good with that. But he needs some time. He needs some time. But he has Boots of Travel. He pretty much has finished his Soul Ring now. And... He's gonna start to be scarier and scarier. Dyer's bottom uh, Ursa tower is gonna dodge the arrow here. Ursa only level 6 though, the same as Magnus. They have an RP. And Mirana is very, very comfortable here. Knows that, that she is being spotted, but also has wards to protect herself. So she. Very much playing with with her food right now. It feels like a banish to save himself from Drayden there. And nice region found by the Ursa to help him uh, get back to full health. Uh, Sand King level 9 now has a full veil. There's a shockwave on the Mirana. Is there any dust or, or, the, or sentries here? You have to put down a sentry. There is a swap forward from the Vengeful Spirit here. There is a sentry now. Nice three hero borrow strike. And the ultimate by the OD. And three heroes are dead now. Tinker trying to put down marches to kill anything. But he is going to go down as well. And so is the Ursa. Ultra kill for this OD. And the question mark. Question marks are coming. Couriers getting killed. This this looks this looks like Dyer's a rough game tower. for Dyer. They haven't lost any tier twos yet, so it can certainly turn around. But uh, we see uh, he is his net worth graph, and uh, this experience graph is quite something, quite something. And uh, Tinker is TPing mid, pushing out the wave with uh, Marsh. And Vengeful Spirit not doesn't have level 2 swap yet, so not the biggest range. And uh, meanwhile, this Chaos Knight has a full, arm, full armlet. It's going to go for a Blink Dagger next. Shadow Shaman also only level 6. You see in terms of levels. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's only the Tinker being up there. Everybody else is below anything from the Radiant. And this OD, he has an Etherlands. It's gonna go straight BKB. He's like, I just want to fight, guys. And uh, this Tinker is annoying with magic damage. I just get the item that gives me 100% magic resistance. I think that's a good idea. I would agree. It is a very good idea. And uh, oh, he has to be careful. <gasps> Arrow onto the Tinker and Phantasm, and Tinker is gonna go down. Nice arrow there by Acer Ayers Hole. This is like Team Nygma. Meanwhile, they get a kill onto the Shadow Shaman as well. And they get a kill onto the Crystal Maiden. It is falling apart for Dyer in these first 15 minutes. Now, they have certainly the ways to get back. They have a Mac, they have an RP, they have Ursa, and they have Tinker. They have all the ways to get back into this game. But it is outpost controlled by Radiant, it is bounties getting taken wow. by Radiant, and it is nobody farming except Tinker, really. Was meant to have this. this Sand King has a Blink Dagger now, and Tinker also wants a Blink Dagger. Is he gonna jump forward? No. But uh, Empower Ursa is a lot of damage. Within good RP, there is a swap from the Vengeful Spirit. Are they going to catch the Vengeful Spirit here? Is there going to be a Hex? No. The supports on the side of Dyer are very, very underfarmed. 
Meanwhile, Goat Satan, he has... He only needs 500 to have his Aetherlands finished. And Mirana's ultimate being used in Sand King. Is he gonna go up here? There is a Sentry Ward here. They see him. They do see him. He wants to go on this Ursa. His team is coming in. They're putting down a ward here. But so is Dyer's team coming in there. It's an arrow being used. And they are all 5 versus 5 here. If they get put, to put down so much, they see the Sand King here. Do they have dust? Do they have any? Dust is going to miss. There is a sentry now. Crystal Maiden already dead. But the, they are fighting in the marches now. And they are taking quite a bit of damage here. And this is not the worst for Dyer. Mirana is getting... Is she going to go down here? Oh, banished to save her. Very heads up play there by Draden. Saving his teammate. Good guy, Draden. So it is a 14k lead at uh, 17 minutes in, it's not looking too good. And it's a banish on to the Magnus and the Epicenter. And cr the Shadow Shaman is gonna go down. It's gonna put down wards and Sand King is gonna get out of them. Godlike for the Sand King, 9-0-11, Drayden 9 -3. They get the Vengeful Spirit and they see the Sand King. Sand oh, nice stun there by the by the Mirana and they're turning this around with the Phantasm with the Reality Rift and Ursa does go down. Another question mark. Fuck off. Set by weight. Exactly. We've all had those games. And it... Oh, easy clap. They know they're inside of the Dyer's head now. But Tinker Tinker just continues doing Tinker things. There is a TP in from the Mirana but he's not gonna catch the... the Tinker, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, arrow is gonna miss. Oh, is, is there gonna be is there gonna be any vision? No, no vision for the swap. Very close call there. Rain getting out. But he has a blink dagger now. Now it's gonna be it's gonna be even more of that. He has a blink dagger. He's gonna be able to hop, jump, jump into the trees. And even if he gets damage, he can rearm and immediately shift click his blink dagger to get to be safe. So we'll see. Is this this Tinker he needs to provide time, and that is what Tinker is doing best. Providing time for his team. Vambrace found for the Ursa. Every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. Clumsy Net also found for the Ursa. Magnus is going to go up here. Use misuse my camera there for a second there. They see the Vengeful spirit here. Do they have a uh, sentry ward? No. Arrow is going to hit on the shadow shaman here. They don't have sentries. You need dust and sentries. They see the vengeful spirit now with dust. That's what I said. Like the, the dire supports are so poor. They struggle to finish anything because they also need to buy sentries. They need to buy dust. Arrow is going to hit onto the crystal main, but no follow up. And Rain just going to kin continu <coughs> continue to push out the waves. And they still have their tier 2s. They have not lost a single tier 2. They're going on to this Vengeful Spirit here. Stun onto the Crystal Main. Drayden is here. They get the Vengeful Spirit. That's a good start. There is an epicenter charge up onto Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman's dead. So is the Crystal Maiden, but they are fighting in the March of the Machines. There's a BKB used by the OD. If they get out, this is a victory for the Dire. They lost two supports, but even that, like losing two supports, and they get more gold. They even get nearly more experience. And it is a 10 second BKB used by the uh, OD. Just wanna keep that, keep that BKB low. Or get it low. And there are the marches. And uh, it is destroying creep waves. There's a Banish. Are they gonna follow this up? Doesn't look like it. There's a Phantasm being used and they're gonna go forward onto this Ursa. The Ursa is he gonna get his Enrage off? Is there gonna be any follow-up? There's his Enrage and he's gonna try to take down the, the Sand King but not gonna be able to. And there's the, the hammer dropped by OD. He's destroying the Magnus and the Shadow Shaman is gonna go down as well. He just came back into the world of the living. He just wants to play a game, man. Just wants to play the game. Meanwhile, they're farming the serpent wards, but again, they 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 aren't able to take the tier twos. 
And this is what's most important here. Oh, are they gonna get the, the arrow here? Are they gonna get this arrow? Oh, he's blinking forward onto this uh, CK. It's gonna get swapped away. There is a TP in from the Magnus. Is there gonna be an RP? Nice two heroes drew into an RP. They get the CK and they get the Vengeful Spirit. That's what I'm talking about. That's what Dio needs. Very well played there. TPing two Shrine. They haven't lost any tier twos yet. Like, it is a 17k lead, but it is a 17k lead against the Tinker, and Tinker can stall this game. And Mirana is closing in on an Akadim Scepter. <laughs> CK has a Dragon Scale, has the Blink Dagger, is gonna go for a heart next. Venge has the Ethelance and the OD. Oh, actually, what's with Sanking? Sank is just getting low from Ancients. And the OD has to be KB. Is he gonna go down here? No, okay. And uh, they are taking now also outposts. So... Uh, Radiant's uh, bottom tower is under attack. And then Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone, good for any of you, any of the supports. Just give them some gold. Just give them some gold so that they can afford more dust and more sentries. Because that's gonna win you your game. <laughs> just wants his, just wants his arcane boots. <laughs> just, just give me my arcane boots. <laughs> Level 9, 22 minutes in. It's, it's, not, it's not an easy game to be a support. Oh, they are going to... Oh, nice last hit there with the Vengeful Spirit. Her, is she going to pay her price, though? Frostbite, stun onto the Crystal Maiden. And there's jump forward by the Mirana. Oh, it's going to disable the Blink Dagger. Gonna get rid of both sentry wards. Neither team is gonna have some sentry vision, but that is gonna be. Actually, who's that gonna be favoring? It's gonna be favoring Radiant because of uh, Dyer doesn't have anything that's invisibility, to be honest. <laughs> Why did I even have to think about this? Again, Tinker just uh, doing Tinker things. He has Blink Dagger. He is gonna go. He has an Ether Lens. He's gonna go into an Axe Scepter next for the team fight. And. Uh, Ursa, he's gonna go into a BKB. OD has the growth bow, he's gonna go into a blink dagger. And there are three heroes here. Are they gonna find anything? No, just gonna clear out some ancient camps with empower. Magnus has a has a blink dagger as well, so our peace can become available. <gasps> nice courier snipe. Do they find him there? No. So close, the Mirana. But they get the courier, so. Any little thing. Any little thing. Phantasm being used, they want to turn this around on this Ursa here. Blink dagger forwards, stun into swap, into the epicenter, and he is down. He is, uh. He is, uh, done for. Shadow Shaman trying to run into the. onto his high ground. He's like, please, don't. Got a family to feed. The family of serpents. Blink forward and the Phantasm Reality Rift. Nice two heroes done from Alaris. And Magnus is dead. Shadow Shaman is dead. But it's very low death timers, I guess. And Crystal Main, is she gonna go down as well? One more hit. Dust is being used. And they get the CK. And Earthshaker? Uh, Earthshaker. Earthshock? Earthshock forward from the Ursa. That's why I thought. So confused. Why did I say Earthshock? Well, they get the kill onto the CK and they haven't lost, again, any high ground buildings. They left two tier, th tier twos and uh, they are holding. They are holding and this, the lead isn't. It's like it, it's plateauing. It's plateauing. And uh, Ursa is very, very close to the OD here, as well as the Marana. They see him with the ward, deciding not to go on him. <laughs> what a laugh by Tinker. Enchanted Quiver now found by the Magnus. He's gonna go into a Vladimir's next. Crystal Maiden wanting a four staff and Shadow Shaman. He's gonna finish his. Uh, 
Yeah, he can finish his uh, arcane boots without uh, sacrificing his buyback. Yeah, he finally has arcane boots. He's like, guys, I got an item. <laughs> what? It's upgraded boots. <laughs> oh, poor support life. Oh, did they see this ward? Crystal main is like, please, please, please. Oh, but they see that they're going into Roche. If they are reacting fast enough, Tinker can put down maybe enough March of Machines to keep him out of there. There is a heart now on the CK though. There is a Hood of Defiance, you'll set the full pipe on the Sand King. They see this Roche, they decide we can't do much about it. Drayden has now his his uh, blink dagger. Oh, are they? Do they want to fight this now? Oh, Drayden, he's blinking forward. Nice blink away by the Tinker. Nice reactions there by Rain. And they see the, the Mirana here. They have sentries and they have dust. But the epicenter is being charged up and the stun onto the three heroes. Plus the OD old triple kill. OD, good hero. Another question mark by Alaris. Can what an ultimate! Did I miss the fight recap? I wanted to see how much damage it was. Oh, I think I missed the fight recap. Nah, too bad. Um, so, they're defending high ground again. Uh, there's the glyph as well as the pipe being used at the same time. Oh, there is a swap, but BKB used by both heroes and Ursa has to run away. There's too many heroes here. He's gonna try to fight against the Vengeful Spirit here, but his BKB is running out and he gets ward trapped! Oh no! He has face boots now, but those few seconds... There is an RP onto multiple heroes. Is there gonna be an Axe Scepter? Not quite yet. He can buy the Axe Scepter now, but he wants buyback. And they did get the Vengeful Spirit, but everybody else is still alive. It is Tinker against the world. And they are going to lose one of the mid lane of Rax here. And Aghanim's Scepter has been picked up now by the Tinker. 24k lead now. Dire, they don't want to give up. This is game number two. They are down one game. If they lose this game, they've lost this series. Tinker doing everything in in his uh, in his power to keep them to keep the, the radiant to keep Dyer's the radiant away track. from hitting their fallen. throne. They lost one lane of rags, but it is one lane of rags. You have a Magnus with him power, so it's not that big of a deal. Ursa is gonna go for a Basher now. Oh, Tinker is gonna TP in. Oh, okay. There is an OD here. He finds the OD. OD does banish the Tinker. This is gonna be enough. BKB used. You have to rearm and blink away. Rearm and blink away. Nice, nice, uh, nice uh, body blocks there from the Magnus to keep the OD occupied. And they're trying to turn this around. Now, OD doesn't have a BKB anymore. So that's your BKB down. And they have vision of this. And yeah, he's just gonna keep on spamming. There's rockets on you, he's like, ow. Dyer's top tower is under um, Ursa has to be careful here. Oh, they they get the... I guess uh, CK just goes high ground and kills the Shadow Shaman. Dyer's Not much you can do as a Shadow Shaman there. Uh, Arrow is going to miss, they're trying to turn this around. Oh, they're getting the Tinker, Tinker is getting low. Nice frostbite there, is Tinker going to go on? Starstorm is going to take down the Tinker, buyback from the Tinker. And now they have to fight this. RP is down. BKB used by the Ursa. Crystal Main is gonna go down. Epicenter. They are focusing on this Tinker. Tinker has used his buyback. There is a Yule Scepter to stop the rearm. Is there gonna be a borrow strike in one second? There it is. And now Drayden is here as well. And God, beyond God, like someone killed Drayden. 11, 19, 0, and 4. 11, 0, 26. What the fuck? This Sand King has been involved in every single kill. In 100% kill participation. 
And this Tinker is dead for 80 seconds. No more RP. And it is going to be one. Can we even call that a fight? OD just is like, you know what, guys? It's <laughs> just going to drop the hammer. GG called. 31k lead at 31 minutes. Very well played by the Radiant. They're taking this series 2 0. Good effort by everybody. GG. Nice game.